Jamaica now joins Peru in recording its first case of the Zika virus. In both cases, the infected people had recently travelled from other areas. There are at least 24 countries and territories dealing with the Zika virus. Zika is primarily transmitted by a specific mosquito. Now, most people who are infected with the virus show no symptoms. However, some can develop a fever, rash and joint pain. The virus has been linked to a dangerous brain development issue in newborn babies. Brazil is, of course, ground zero for this latest outbreak, and it is collaborating with the U.S. to control the spread of the virus. Seen in Shasta Darlington is there and joins us now from Rio de Janeiro. Shasta, Brazil has had more cases than any other country. What are they doing right now? Well, Linda, the... Right here we are in the epicenter of this pandemic sweeping across the Americas. So uh, they're trying to first combat the mosquito that is the only known uh, vector transmitting the virus. Uh, they also are working with other countries. Uh, yesterday, for example, the president of Brazil, Dilma Rousseff, spoke to uh, President Barack Obama about how to fight this mosquito, about working together on research and really trying to speed up a, a possible vaccine. At this point, there's no vaccine, there is no cure. Uh, so so what, the, what they've been doing here is stepping up efforts with 200,000 soldiers and health workers going door to door uh, trying to look for the, the standing pools of water that are the areas where these mosquitoes breed. It can be under a plant. It could be the tanks of drinking water that people throughout Brazil store because there's a serious drought. Uh, they put chemicals in them. They try and kill the larvae. A series, a series of uh, steps, really, that can be taken. They're also fumigating. It, the problem is, of course, this isn't the first time they're, they're trying to do this. They've been battling this mosquito for years, Aedes aegypti, because it also spreads dengue fever, yellow fever, um, and they really haven't had a whole lot of success. Last year, Brazil saw a record number of cases of dengue fever. Now, so why is Zika all of a sudden so important? It actually has pretty mild symptoms. The problem is, after it appeared last year, um, uh, there was this spike in birth defects, uh, microcephaly, these babies born with very small heads and, and brain damage. Uh, and this is the big concern here in Brazil. This is the big concern across the Americas. The risk that this virus represents for pregnant women, Linda. And speaking of pregnant women, while we can't confirm this independently, a local press in Colombia are reporting that more than 2,000 pregnant women have the virus. Uh, just explain for us how these women can get screened and do all women, pregnant women with the virus, end up having babies born with brain damage? No, no, they don't, uh, and that's interesting. I, I think part of the difficulty with Zika is that in up to 80% of cases, it's asymptomatic. Um, what you can do is you can start screening all pregnant women, test them for the Zika virus, and then you'll get much higher numbers. You'll know who has the virus. But according to the doctors we've talked to here, that doesn't mean that the baby uh, will, will be born with microcephaly. It, they believe that the pregnant women are most vulnerable in the first four or five months of pregnancy. Uh, they say, that, and they're also not sure what will happen after that. They say that women can give birth to apparently healthy babies, even if they've had the Zika virus, but that they want to monitor them closely to see if they then develop hearing problems, sight problems, things that are not initially apparent uh, in the sonograms or, or when they first give birth. But no, a woman who, a pregnant woman who's had the Zika virus does not automatically, uh, doesn't mean that her, her, her child will have microcephaly, Linda. Okay, Shasta Darlington and Rio de Janeiro, thank you very much for that update. We appreciate it.